I'm still here. No. I'm sorry that I haven't updated you guys. I've gotten so many messages if I'm okay, how am I doing? Because I had, um, if you saw my Instagram um, stories, then I you would know that I had my appointment the other day. Uh, yeah, two days ago now. Um, but I really needed to take some time um, after the appointment and um, kind of digest the information and take some time to myself and kind of reevaluate. So um, I'm not gonna go into full depth of what's going on because it's just a lot. It's a lot of explaining and it's a lot of waiting if you've ever had to go through this or anyone you know has had to go through something like this in their life, um, then you'll know that it's just a lot of waiting and waiting can be the worst part of it all. So um, it's not bad news, but it's not wonderful news at the same time. Basically, we're waiting until um, May and um, the area that I had just had surgery on um, is healing nicely, but he won't be able to tell if anything is going to grow back in that area for a couple months. Um, a lot of people have asking me why does it take that long? It takes that long because, um, you know, it's not going to happen overnight. Unless you had a very severe aggressive form of cancer, um, it's not really going to happen like that. Um, you know, my doctor explained this to me in the very beginning that cancer itself takes years to form inside of your body. So, um, you know, even a few months for something to grow back that's um, visible to his naked eye is kind of concerning. So that has actually happened already twice. So this is the third um, final time that we're gonna see if it grows back. He's removed them twice. Um, the cells, I mean, the people are like, what is he removing? It's it's cells that can um, become cancerous. Um, and of course, since I've had cervical cancer, the risk is a little bit higher. So that's why they're watching me closer. Um, so, you know, we're gonna wait this few months and actually a few months for something like this to grow back is pretty quick, actually. Um, so hopefully that in May, when he goes, when I go back, um, everything's fine. If not, if something has grown back, then I'm gonna have to have surgery, um, which is a little more um, serious this time. So um, that's basically the gist of it. I mean, you know, people are asking me like, why can't he just, why can't he just take that whole section out? Well, he's not gonna take out the whole section of you know my woman part because. What if he doesn't need to? What if it doesn't grow back in May? Do you, you know what I mean? Like people are just like, why doesn't he take it out? Well, you know what? That would affect me personally um, a lot. And it's not just as simple as taking it out. You know, it has a lot of, um, it has a lot of things surrounding and it. it's not that easy to just, you know, take a piece of your body out. So um, a lot of people have been asking me that, like, why doesn't he just take it out? Um, why? Um, is chemotherapy like an option right now? And no, it's not an option right now. He's trying to, you know, do everything that is um, as minimal as possible to get rid of it before we have to do anything more um, serious like my hysterectomy was. So that's kind of where I am. I'm okay. I'm dealing with that news. The only thing is I'm losing, I'm losing hope just because I, it, it it's grown back twice already and I kind of feel like if it hadn't, I'd be like, okay, well, May will be fine. I'll be fine because he took it out, but I don't know. I, I should hold on to hope, I know, but at this point, two years in, it's kind of getting difficult for me. So I really appreciate all of your kindness and all of your prayers and everything. It really helps me like get through it and um, I'm trying really, really hard not to let this affect me in my everyday life. Um, I know that the next four months is going to be um, pretty hard and my anxiety will be pretty high because at that appointment is when I'll find out if there's something there or not. So that's basically where I am. I wanted to jump on here really quickly and just update you guys because I feel bad I kind of left you hanging. And um, I do have a little bit of good news um, for this video. It's not going to be a total downer and this is why I'm smiling so much because usually when I talk about this... Um, subject is kind of like down and not you know, I'm not really smiling but I'm very happy right now because um after my appointment I was kind of like totally bumming I was so like upset and I kind of 
I don't know, I shut down. I, this is what I do. I shut down. I don't talk to anyone. I'm just like, and my husband works a lot, so I can always call him. And well, he couldn't come with me because he couldn't get the time off of work. So my niece actually came with me. I vlogged a little, but I just, I'm not going to upload the video. It's just kind of like too depressing. But anyways, I had said to my husband, um, do you want to go away for a weekend? Just, just you and I. Um, and he's like, yeah. He's like, where do you want to go? And then I was like, you want to go to Disney? <laughs> and he's like, yeah, let's go. Cause we had, um, some points on our American, uh, we had some points on our American express card for flights and we're going to be staying with my aunt. So basically, you know, if we wanted to go up to like New Hampshire, by the time we like spent money on a hotel and um, all that, we could just uh, put the remainder of the money into the flights, whatever the points didn't um, cover. So we can stay with my aunt. She said that we can um, use one of their vehicles and we're going for three nights and we're gonna have two whole days in Disney, just him and I at the end of this month. I am so excited that seriously, I need, I need this. I physically, mentally, emotionally need to get away with my husband. And side note, before anyone says, how can you go to Disney without your kid? Uh, Madison will be going in um, the spring with us. Like we're taking her in the spring for eight nights. So I don't feel that bad. And she has gone, this will be like her sixth trip in her lifetime and she's eight. So, you know, sometimes you need to get away as parents and that's just where I prefer to go because why not if we have the points to fly there and we have somewhere to stay and we're annual pass holders anyway, we already have our tickets. Why not go? Even though I had some, you know, not wonderful news, but not terrible news, but certainly news that is going to make me very anxious for the next few months. I know that my husband, I have this little trip to look forward to now, and I also have our big trip in the spring to look forward to, which is going to be before May. Um, so then I can just spend time with my family then too, and not worry about this and spend a lot of time um, planning for it because I love planning for Disney and I love everything that goes into it. So... Thank you guys so much again for all of your messages, especially on Instagram. I'm sorry I haven't replied to all of them yet, but I will. Um, I've just been very overwhelmed the past few days with a lot of messages from family and, and people like that and wanting me to explain what's going on over and over. So I just wanted to um, update you guys and I hope you're having a wonderful weekend and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.